All right, today we're talking about the shift of the flex player in MW3. You know, previously in competitive titles, we had that second AR switching to an SMG in situations where they had to, and they were considered that quote unquote flex player. But now we're in a situation where most of these maps are AR dominant, and now SMG players are required to be the ones to be that quote unquote flex player and use those ARs in those situations where they need to on those specific hills. So we're gonna talk about all the maps and the situations where you might be using an AR or an SMG based on your role. So let's Let's get right into it. So in previous years, those SMG players will pull out ARs in specific hill situations where, you know, it was one off hills, maybe one a map where they would pull out that AR, whether it was on a cut or whether it was just a super open area. You know, think about Embassy P2 last year, super open area where a lot of teams will pull out that third AR. But in terms of situations where you would have a flex player or what we would deem as a flex player, which would be that second AR that would be switching to those SMGs. Think about Embassy P4, or P5 last year, you would have those three subs on that and then have that lone main AR. In these situations, a lot of these maps are super long lanes, super long sight lines, and these power positions are just too beneficial for those MCWs that you might as well just be using it even if you're a sub player. So what are the situations on invasion where you might pull on AR or subs? So P1 is gonna be your best bet to pull out a sub. You're gonna see probably one off the break and then going to that second P1, you'll probably see one or two being pulled out simply because of these areas, you know, DVD, cafe, mannequin, these little areas, uh, you know, AS and D, B Dom, all of them are areas where SMGs can shine because of the close quarters. But if we're talking about the rest of these hills, you know, we're gonna be seeing three to four AR on pretty much all of them you know you might see one smg once this p3 comes out similar to the p1 because of these areas around cafe and mannequin but for the p2 p4 p5 definitely going to be seeing three to four ARs. At least for the P2 and P5, you're going to be seeing four ARs for both teams, uh, for pretty much every team in the CDL. P4, you might have one sub, you know, roaming around DVDs or something, but for the most part, you know, three to four ARs on this map pretty much at all times. We'll move on to sub base. Sub base, another one where you're going to be seeing a lot of situations where you're using ARs. P3, P4, P5, pretty much three to four ARs. I would say mostly four for a lot of teams on those three hills specifically. P1 and P2. P1, you'll probably see one sub being pulled out simply because of the plays you might be able to make inside comms or the small room or holding this ramp over here. And then P2 is probably the most SMG dominant hill for this map specifically. You might even see a third sub on this hill if you're holding it. It's just super easy with the rate of fire that the rival gives for you to win gunfights inside this P2 area. Specifically, if you're holding or breaking through the top over here or even just holding the hill inside or if you're trying to play underneath these stairs over here, really good areas for subs but for the rest of this map super long sight lines where you're going to be seeing a lot of cross gun fights specifically on the p3 over here and even on the p4 you're going to be seeing a lot of ars specifically in this open area towards p1 because there's going to be a lot of spawns that end up being towards this mid map so mostly ars for the p4 and same thing for the p5 a lot of gunfights around this area and even if you're holding inside the hill or even holding towards the silos area you're going to be met with a lot of mid-range ar gunfights so definitely uh, ar heavy on p3 p4 p5 so a little bit of a mixture for this map We'll move on to Karachi, and Karachi is probably the most balanced out of all of these four SMGs. If you're a really good SMG player, you're probably going to be wanting to play this map a lot because you're going to be put in situations that you're more comfortable with as an SMG. So for the most part, you're going to be seeing teams run two subs throughout the entirety of the map, and you might even see a third sub on the P4 and P5 simply because of how close quarters gunfights those are and the impact that you might be able to have uh, with that third sub rather than a second AR. So you might even see a majority of gunfights go the way of the SMG on this map specifically so for the most part that flex player is going to be that third smg that is that second main ar for pretty much every other map but for these specific situations you might be seeing cdl ars use subs on these hills we'll move on to skid row skid row i think is a really fun map because of how the dynamic that it sets where you have situations where it's ar dominant but other situations where it's smg dominant and then one you know middle of the ground balanced hill in p3 so p1 and p4 are definitely going to be your smg dominant maps you'll probably see a good amount of teams running three subs on both of those two hills but then on the p2 and p5 you know more open areas ar favored gunfights you're going to be seeing three to four ars on those you know maybe having one sub around the garage court area but for the most part ar dominated for those and then when you go to the p3 it's a little bit more balanced where you can run pretty much both it's going to be a lot of mid-range gunfights but also close quarters if you're talking about top dubs over here or back alley or even towards the front side you're going to be met with a bunch of different types of gunfights so you'll probably see a balanced mixture of two smgs two ars for this hill specifically. But for the rest of the map, you might be seeing a really cool meta in the CDL where everyone's just gonna be changing bar, you know, maybe that one main AR that just sticks to the AR throughout the entirety of the map, but everyone else is going to be shifting based on the situation they're in. 
And lastly, move on to Terminal. And Terminal is probably the most AR dominated out of all of these maps. There's a lot of teams that are just running purely four ARs throughout the entirety of the map. You know, maybe you'll see one SMG for the P3, but for the rest of these four hills, super AR heavy. So Kyler, I think, is the only SMG out of all the players in the CDL that is running the SMG the entirety of the map. And in my opinion, it's just way too hard to have an SMG throughout this entire map. Just too many long sight lines, too many AR favored gunfights that you need to be able to hold if you want to hold these hills so you know really AR heavy if you're an SMG player you probably want to be avoiding this one out of all the maps simply because you're probably going to be running an AR throughout the entirety of the map so if you really shine on that SMG you probably want to be avoiding this one but you probably feel it in game but all of these mid-range to long-range gunfights just go the way of the AR you'd think that some of these mid-range gunfights could go to the rival and they sometimes do but for the most part consistency wise it's just the MCW favor so that's why you see so many CDL players using it on this map we'll move on to the control maps now we'll first start with high rise high rise another ar dominated map for the most part you're going to be seeing cdl teams run four ars on this map but there are some situations where you might see a sub especially if they like playing underground and like going through blue a lot you know you might be pulling smg out in those situations but for the most part ar dominated like i was talking about before in that high rise video just a lot of times where you can just create sight lines for yourself by mantling on these different areas and with that ar you're going to be allowing yourself to win a lot more gunfights uh, by creating those long sight lines for yourself so definitely go with the AR for this map uh, SMGs will be super super situational for this one invasion like we talked about before in the hard point pretty much AR dominated for this one there are some situations where you might see CL teams pull out one sub maybe if the B point is already capped and if you want to try and maintain control of this cafe and mannequin area you know those are some areas where the SMG can shine so definitely if the A point is still up and you want to play through these areas you can see one player on your team using SMG in that situation but for the most part for everything else you're just going to be running the AR and then lastly we'll move on to Karachi control once again similar to the hard point you're going to be seeing a balance of 2-2 so if you're an SMG player definitely want to be playing this control map because it's just going to allow for more beneficial gunfights for you as a more comfortable player on the smg so it's definitely the most balanced out of all the control maps in terms of two smg two ars and that's where you're going to see with basically every cdl team so that's going to do it for all the maps let me know what you guys think do you like the flex player being those smgs trying to run an ar or do you prefer those games where that second ar is running that third smg and you might be pulling out a third ar as a sub player for some specific situations but not for you know an entirety of a map so let me know your thoughts on that i think it's really interesting to see it for the first time in this game because you know we've never really had that situation where you're running majority ars for all these maps and smg players are basically just flex players in itself you know the term flex player for as long as i can remember has always been you know just that second ar that would pull out the third sub but in the last few years you've kind of seen it shift to just whoever's in that situation if it's an smg favorite situation you'll see them pulling on an smg if it's an ar favorite situation you'll see them pulling on an ar so now i think we're just getting into that area where you know it's super map dependent as you can see here in this game specifically where it's just so many AR favored maps where we're seeing just SMGs being flex players because of how many times they have to constantly switch in this game alone so I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the you know the flex meta kind of shifting towards those SMG players rather than those ARs let me know what you guys think thank you guys for making it to the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one